What's up everybody, welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Nathan Ng, and for the 13.13 .13 patch, Riot didn't post a first look, at least as of the making of this video. Spider Axe, however, went above and beyond and provided the community with all the changes that he could find. So, let's talk about them. Two of the scariest champions that you have ever faced in solo queue are getting buffed. Lee Sin's Q1 and Q2 both get an increased AD ratio, and Nidalee is running around the map even faster with a movement speed increase of 5. This might sound weaker than it is. You need to remember that Nidalee has a movement speed steroid on her passive, and buying Blue Spite makes it even more powerful. In the nerf department, Riot is going in with the roundhouse kick. Randomly removing the font of life and echoes of Hilia interaction without any heads up wasn't enough for them. Now they're putting Annie into place by nerfing her Q directly. This is a nerf that affects both mid and support Annie and makes it more difficult to one-shot people with the full rotation. And if you're tired of being on the receiving end of those rotations, then we got the perfect fit for you. The times of you missing out on lethal windows are over and you can finally leave loser's Q behind. Doubting yourself was yesterday, discovery is tomorrow. This AI is trained on leading esports athletes. It provides you with the best and fastest info to turn you into a better player. Don't miss out, go on Discovery. Next on the chopping block is a champion that has been tormenting the competitive scene for quite some time now. However, in solo queue, this champion is barely finding any success. Let's show you the nerfs for Aphilios. Gravitum slow duration is being cut by roughly a third. At the same time, they're nerfing the Severum attack and ability healing as well. And fans of the tower defense genre will not be unscathed. His turret's attack speed is also being lowered. Guess we'll see him even less in solo queue now. Keep these last words on your mind and pray to Riot that they stay true to the next champion. Ivern, one of the most unbalanced picks in the recent patch, is finally getting tackled. His base damage and AP scaling are being lowered, and Daisy finally stops cosplaying as Malphite. She's a bit slower and deals less damage, yet it's very scary that we don't see any adjustments to his shields. I don't think that our prayers have been heard. As the Trinity Force changes are pushed to a later date, we'll see some direct changes to Kindred in this one. She loses base armor and base health, which makes her more vulnerable. In this case, it's more of a, she's a less good champion now, but not a bad one. Don't forget that she's itemizing into a bruiser route, which features a lot of bonus HP anyway. Nico is also finally being hit. Her no counterplay ult combo while being disguised is being removed. Her ultimate now finally breaks the disguise and allows people to react properly. In addition to this, her primary wave clear and poke tool receives a cooldown nerf, while her on hit bonus from her W receives an early game nerf. This nerfs both lane and jungle Nico, but probably hurts jungle Nico a lot more. Another one of these broken picks that we need to talk about is Rek'Sai. With her build changing stride breaker cleaver, her tankiness just spiked through the roof and Riot is finally taking action. As the build features high AD and tankiness, they're lowering both her base AD and base health. An all-time secret special, the AP Varus is also being attacked by Riot's nerf police. His W's on hit ratio is being lowered as well as its detonation ratio. That sounds painful, considering the amount that they're nerfing him for. One of the changes that you'll probably be happy to see though is coming to Vi. She's going to be less tanky, and her ultimate will have a higher cooldown. Finally, you get a bit of a breathing room, but you'll still be dove on cooldown if you're a top laner. An eternal nemesis of Vi is Wukong. This matchup has been seen quite a lot of times in pro play in different regions. In this patch, Wukong's E loses power. Its monster mod goes down from 120 to 100%. Enjoy clearing the jungle even slower. But now let's talk about some adjustments and system changes. Someone who's not going to be any slower in 13.13 .13 is Rel in the jungle. They're nerfing her base health regeneration, magic resistance, her magic resist growth rate, and W based shield amount. At the same time, however, they're buffing the monster damage from her Q and E as well as giving her unmounted attack speed a major early game buff. Basically, support rel is being nerfed and jungle rel is being buffed. For items, everyone's going to be happy to hear that static shiv is losing its minion AP ratio. At the same time, the AP ratio of the item is being lowered from 50 to 30%. No more LeBlanc, Ari, Kennen, and more who just purchase this item and removes all possibilities of sieging. It's not just about sieging though, it's also about dealing crazy amounts of burst damage. Remember, we had something called a durability patch. So, how does it happen that we one-tap each other in half a second on most matchups? Another item that loses AP ratios is Stormraiser. This time though, the AP ratio was completely removed and the flat damage increased massively. For the AD ratio, we're going to be seeing a nerfed one, but otherwise triggering this item's effect would be similar to exploding a bomb in an enemy's face. Last but certainly not least, an essence reaver change is rolling in as well. The item's base AD ratio is being increased from 100 to 130%, but the bonus AD ratio is lowered from 40 to 25%. 
How does your local Draven main feel about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to never miss anything Pro Guides ever again. And you know the drill. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.